found in a fire, a Chicago fire. It's clear that she's been brutalized and uh, left for dead by the fire, but she's clinging to life. PD is brought in. I get a call from Olivia Benson when she hears about it because it has all the markings of a serial killer who had done a series of similar crimes in New York and gotten away. So she, Ice-T, and Amaro, Danny Pino, Mariska, come to Chicago and we, we get close. We end up having to go, all of us, go back to New York as well to try and uh, resolve this thing. The weather. She's the lead character in the right, show. Right. And you never know what you're gonna get from her. It was Talking about so cold. I mean, they had me, I yeah. was outside, I was undercover and, and, and we're pouring gasoline on his van or something. I had this weird outfit on that was so thin and I couldn't have anything under it. I thought we had a great take. I thought we were done and, and uh, the director says to me, we gotta do another take. I said, why? He said, cause your nose is just running too much. I couldn't feel any of this. Sticks out in my mind is last season, really. Yeah. You know, if you notice, we're just kind of in leather jackets because they look cool. And I believe the forecast with the wind chill was 75 below. And the newscaster on my way to work said, they advise you not to go outside for more than 10 minutes because your lungs may freeze. We're big fans of The Walking Dead, Better Call Saul, so I'm all caught up with, with that. I just love those shows. Law and Order and Chicago Fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John Seda. I'm Jason Begay. We're on Chicago PD. And you're watching it on TV Insider. Drop the mic.